Hello guys. Today I'm going to discuss about third semester B2 syllabus for computer science and information science branches of engineering. This system is coming into effect from 2018 onwards. And I'm going to talk about the year 2020 to 2021, keeping into respect, respective of my understanding. So I'm going to discuss for two branches, computer science and information science. Both have the same syllabus subjects. So with respect to our previous knowledge is how we have studied in the first year, what are subjects you have studied like basic electronics, C programming, we are going to learn new subjects and it will be mostly based on what you have learned previously, that is in the first, first year. So if you have studied first year, especially second semester well, then you will not have problem over here. The subjects, first subject is analog and digital electronics. This we commonly call ADE. It has both theory and practical. Means you have to be ready for the theory exam as well and also do the lab practical. Practical for this exam normally involves creating various kind of flip-flops like JK flip-flop, SR flip-flops, ICs, OPAMPs. Multiplexers, demultiplexers and various others. Computer organization. How a computer is made and how it functions we're going to learn about over here. We're going to learn here. Data structures, theory and practical, discrete maths, maths M3, or maths for diploma students who are doing diploma of engineering in computer science and information science branch. Software engineering, Canada com communication or administration. Communication is more, mostly for those who have come from North India or don't know much Canada. Administration are for the localites, means who are living in Karnataka for many years and know Canada language well. Let's move on. Importance. What are the Im important points in each subject? Or why we are studying this subject? Analog digital electronics. As I already told, it is based mostly upon the first year syllabus. However, we'll also learn many new things like K-maps, multiplexers, demultiplexers, and various other things. So it is important in learning the hardware and software aspects of computer engineering. So in this, we are going to understand about how in registers, the flip-flops work and how we are able to transmit data from one place to another place in a CPU. We're going to also learn, we are going to build up more on that topic on computer organization and understand in depth about how computer works, the input output sequences, how the CPU prioritizes which instruction to take at what time and various other things. So data structures. Data structures is a place or is a way of organizing data in a memory. As a result, we'll be learning here how to implement various data structures in C language by using C language. That is arrays, linked list, stacks, queues, structures. By using structures only, we're going to implement stack, queues, linked link lists. So this subject is my interest, very interesting because it's related to coding and not so much difficult maths so we're going to learn the m3 maths means what we in the first year which i have learned m1 and m2 is a continuation of that m3 it, it is going to ma mainly focus upon electrical signals properties like Fourier transforms and various others next uh, this time we have a dedicated maths for us only for CSC and IIC sections, this is discrete maths. 
discrete means zero and ones. As a result, we are going to study here the basics of the logic involved in computer science field. For example, we can we have to study about graphs, trees. These are the very key points in computer science, and hence it is very important for us to understand them. Software engineering. Most of us want to become software engineers when we grow up, and hence this subject it holds a very good importance in this aspect. It mainly discusses about how software is built, how they are tested, and how everything runs in in software in industries. They'll give you a brief idea, and this all be all also be helpful for you to understanding what the software engineering or oh, sorry software engineer is a career for you or not next kannada language as i told is you should have some basic knowledge about kannada language so it's good for people who are learning and who are living in karnataka as less for others who have who have learned kannada in the primary schools it would be good for revision for them as well let's move on additional so these are main mainly what how the v2 system is divided we have internal marks external marks internal marks usually consist of mooc course that is some online course video course you have to go and you have to go and do and you have to get, submit the certificate or whatever you get some various good websites i can suggest to us udemy Coursera, MPTL. If you are looking for cheap option and good quality, go for Udemy. Else, if you want little higher end also and much better quality, you can go for Coursera and MPTL. However, the prices also will be high. Mini projects, some project you have to do for means you have to create by your own self and you have to show it to our assessor. And if he approves it, your yeah, mini project is will be good. It actually amounts to MOOC course and mini projects two two marks for the internals. So I had a game called I have to design a game called Tic Tac Toe. So I did successfully as well as completed my MOOC course. So I got easily four marks. Teachers personal review marks. So this, if you're having good relation with the teachers. If you are asking doubts, if you are if you are attentive in a class, then you can easily get these marks. Assignments normally during this COVID period, we are getting five assignments to do. So I would say I recommend you to at least complete these assignments and submit to a teacher, so that easily you can get some five marks. Same goes for quizzes. Other quizzes are like MCQ questions, so. It, you can go for online you can type mcqs or you can refer gate material as well most of the question we got were from gate gate only so you can refer that and this is also very easy to score and we can get some marks both assignments and quizzes will have approximately 5 marks tests like iits and all iit1 iit2 iit3 so this Actually, it's a warm up for you for the external exam, and hence I would suggest you to do and take this seriously and do this good. Now, external marks we have 60 marks, like how V2 theory exams are there for that. You give 100 marks papers, but ultimately it will get reduced to 60 marks, and whatever percentage and CGPA will be taken from that only. So, let's move on. What are the tricks and various books? So tricks, I would say, you should study both the notes or textbook, and and as well as refer previous papers. This I would suggest previous papers you you do before exams so you get an idea, and also you take a test of the previous paper. Like imagine I've read the 2020 paper, and then after that I I should solve it by my own self and correct it also. Understand where I have gone wrong and corrected also. I'm telling from personal experience as well that this is truly beneficial. Means some topics will forget while writing the paper, 
means the mock paper and that if when you're correcting you will get to know so in the few in the main exam you will remember it for sure it will reduce your error prone it will reduce your error committing chances in the main exam that's it yes try to attend all the classes this is not only from attendance point of view means actually personally i i don't have that much knowledge about whether 75 percent attendance is there now or not but i haven't heard anybody not see anybody getting into trouble just because of attendance so the attendance is not big issue but try to attend all the classes to get a good knowledge and as well as score good in internals this will be if you score good in internals you'll get 40 marks so that will be very efficient for you to uplift your overall percentage maintain good relations with all yes you should maintain good relation not only with teachers but friends also because friends help more than teachers and they are the your true friends means during the time before the exam if you are not getting any some you can go and ask them and they'll tell you teachers sometimes will not tell yeah this is one of the main thing i would say doing the exams try to add big big answers and also valid answers for example if you have a question for 10 marks i would suggest you to write two full papers at least so that the examiner gets a good impression on you books i would suggest dr dsc for dms is a prescribed textbook i have created videos for all of this ksc for maths is the same one for other things one trick i would tell for maths is try to solve as much questions as possible and during the exam solve only the important questions mostly example problems and out of them only you will get it this applies to both dsc and maths try to solve previous year papers get as much practice as you want solve important questions and practice correct by your own practice by your own so we we'll obviously score good marks in this yeah so more books are sunstar exam scanner this before previous year papers and model papers ian sormal somewell for software engineering this is for software engineering this is a very good author prescribed textbook it is except one module that is there in some other book we need to refer it sengage analog and digital electronics this is also there for your this is there for a prescribed textbook carl hammerschmidt's computer organization so you can see this carl hammerschmidt's book so this book is very good you will understand it very thoroughly and if you want to know more about this book you can check out my other videos i have created i am giving a i have given a thorough review of all these things so this is it from my side i hope you got a fair good idea or at least an overview of what you're going to study and what you're going to do in this third sem this is the time from where your main stream starts and hence i would request all of you to be serious from here and work towards whichever field you want to go not only software engineering but whichever field because this is the basics and every company where you're going or even you're going for higher education they're going to see their main subjects marks more compared with first year and thank you for watching this video and if you have any doubt please add in the comments thank you